Jennifer Taggart, the Smart Mama for Healthy Child, Healthy World. We're here to talk about veggie washes. And one question Healthy Child, Healthy World gets a lot is how can I clean my fruits and vegetables safely? One easy solution is to use a vinegar wash. Just take one part vinegar to one part water and combine it in a spray bottle that you keep by your kitchen sink. When you pick a vinegar, pick a vinegar that's based on a um, vegetable fruit fermentation as opposed to from petroleum products. Just look at the label and see what it says the source is for the vinegar. If it doesn't say anything, it may well be derived from petroleum derived ethanol, which is what you don't want. You can use white vinegar or cider vinegar. Basically any vinegar will work with the exception of a wine vinegar. It doesn't work so well to clean your fruits and vegetables. So just take it, put one part water to one part vinegar in a spray bottle and just spray your fruit when you're ready to do it over the sink and then just scrub. You want to scrub to remove any harmful chemicals or germs on the surface of the fruit or vegetable. I'm using a reusable towel that has a, a scrubbing surface. Another quick tip you can do is for those produce, those mesh bags like you get your oranges in, you can just wad that up and use that as a scrubber and not buy one and that's a great solution to reuse that item. For fruits and vegetable washes, the vinegar works great but you can even do a better solution if you use vinegar and hydrogen peroxide, both of them. Now you don't want to combine them together. You want to keep your vinegar wash separate and follow with a hydrogen peroxide wash or you can actually do the hydrogen peroxide first followed by the vinegar, but you never want to put the vinegar and the hydrogen peroxide in the same spray bottle because they will react. So just keep your vinegar wash separate and then in a separate spray bottle add a 3% hydrogen peroxide which you can buy at a big box retailer, a grocery store or a drug store usually in the aisle with like band-aids and that sort of thing. Just put it in a spray bottle. You do need to use a dark colored spray bottle. Brown, dark blue, or a dark pink or purple would be ideal because hydrogen peroxide does react with sunlight. So when you get your fruit or your vegetable, just spray it with the vinegar wash, followed by the hydrogen peroxide wash, or you can do the hydrogen peroxide wa wash first, followed by the vinegar. And that, has studies have shown, will get your fruits and vegetables clean and remove some pesticide residue. Studies have shown that doing the vinegar followed by the hydrogen peroxide or the hydrogen peroxide followed by the vinegar is effective in removing germs and will remove some of the pesticide residue left on conventional fruits and vegetables. Healthy Child, Healthy World frequently gets the question, do I need to wash my organic fruits and vegetables? And the answer is yes, you should always wash your fruits and vegetables to get the germs off them. You don't know where that fruit or vegetable has been and it's important to keep our our children and ourselves healthy to wash the fruits and vegetables. So use your vinegar wash followed by the hydrogen peroxide or vice versa. I'm Jennifer Taggart for Healthy Child, Healthy World.